What's up, y'all? Ray Magic Clicks Tabletop Games. Just got some Amacant pre release kits in. I got three in, and uh, um, I got five more on the way. Let's rock this box. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty excited about this. I didn't get to go to the pre release, so I'm glad I was able to get some of these to open for you guys. Um, not only am I going to open this, I'm actually going to go through how I would. Uh, build the sealed pool, how I go about it. So let's see uh, what we get. These boxes are pretty cool, huh? Nice. Nice. Uh, there we go. So I don't want to look at the pre-release. Oh yeah. Another uh, spin down counter. I'm not going to look at the, uh, the promo until after, till the end to the end so we'll just keep that there face down yeah and you guys already know all the stuff is in here because i'm way behind the power curve so let's start with our first booster so i separate everything into colors because that's the smart thing to do right so we got cartouche of zeal sparring mummy hecma sentinels Manticore of the Gauntlet, Cursed Minotaur, Benefaction of Ronus, Hyena Peck, Whore of the Broken Lands, walked all the way from Kamagawa, he's starving, but for some reason his arms are still big, Luxa River Shrine, Hooded Brawler, Lord of the Accursed, Gravedigger, nice, and Shadow Storm Vizier with an irrigated farmland. Yeah, they do do a lot of rare lands in this thing, don't they? And an island. So I'm just gonna put the island with the with the with the farmland. All right, second pack. Seeker of Insight. Pathmaker Initiate, Red Crop Spearmaster, Hieroglyphic Illumination, Doomed Dissenter, Shred Weakness, Trespasser's Curse, Final Reward, Evolving Wilds, Flame Blade Adept, Protection of the Hecma, Angler Drake, and Hazard the Fervent. Very nice. With a foil, commit to memory. Nice. Foil rare and a god. All right. Winged Shepherd. Essence Scatter. Desert Ceridon, Forsake the Worldly, Pitiless Vizier, Winds of Rebuke, Unwavering Initiate, Trespasser's Curse again, another final reward, Labyrinth Guardian, Hypatra's Mark, Renewed Faith, and Honored Hydra with a foil synchronized strike. Nice foil on common. All right, catch them four. Let's see what we get. Another Winged Shepherd. Flying Vigilance 3-3 three, three with Cycling. That's pretty good. Essence Scatter. Initiate's Companion. Pitiless Vizier, Violence Impact, Painted Bluffs, Avon Initiate, Gustwalker, Supernatural Stamina, Gate to the Afterlife, Dis Distant to Lead, Vizier of Deferment, and Liliana's Mastery. 
with a foil full art swamp. Yeah, baby. That's awesome. A foil rare and a foil for that swamp. Well, you know I gotta sleeve that. And a regular full art forest. That is awesome. I dig it. I love me some full art foils. All right, pack number five. So nothing, no big bombs, but at least we got some sexy. All right, Thresher Lizard. Jiro Drew's Resolve. Naga Oracle. Doom Beetle. Ornery Kurdu. In Oketra's name. Avon Initiate. Painted Bluffs. It's actually pretty cool. Their Blade Warrior. Violent Impact. True Heart Duelist. Avon Wind Guide. Skilled Behemoth. And Hapatra Vizier of Poisons. Okay. Final pack. Essence Scatter. It's like counter a lot of creature spells. I'm getting a lot of those copies. Desert Ceradon. Forsake the Worldly. Giant Spider. Cursed Minotaur. Blazing Volley. Painful Lesson. Emberhorn Minotaur, Cradle of the Accursed, Bloodwaters, Cryptic Serpent, Faith of the Devoted, Oketra's Monument, and Harvest Season. And a regular swamp and a sacred kitty cat. All right. So just to go over the lands we have, this makes zombies, so cool. This one you can tap for any color mana. That one's just shiny as hell. There's another Painted Bluffs. Evolving Wilds, Sacrifice, and get a basic land card. Island and Irrigated Farmland. Comes in tapped and it can tap for a white or a blue. And our pre-release promo, is Oketra the True, yeah, shiny god. That is what I'm talking about. All right, so first thing I like to do is I like to go through each color, right? I don't look at anything else but the creatures first, right? So I put all the creatures in the front. And I glance over the removal, of course. All right, so we got two of the, the Pitless Viziers. We got two of the Cursed Minotaur. This one's good because it, it allows Menace, which is pretty cool. Black is, has good, good removal. So I look at the creatures. We got, you may have a target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. That's awesome. This one, all zombies gain menace. We have a lot of zombies, so pretty cool. Um, stupid poop beetle. And this is uh, whenever you cycle just card a card, he gains indestructible in a turn. 4 2 indestructible coming at you. That's pretty neat. This one, and then I look at the rest of the cards. Target player draws two cards and loses two life. I don't really play that. All right. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one. If you do, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Could be awesome. I don't see myself doing a lot of cycling uh, with black. Zombies you control get plus one plus one. When Liliana's Mastery enters the battlefield, create two, two, two black zombies. Awesome. All right. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus two plus zero. Whenever this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under someone's control. Pretty awesome. Then we got uh, two final rewards, which is great removal. And then we can eat. This is pretty cool because whenever a creature enters the battlefield under enchanted player's control, that player loses one life and you gain one life. So if they play creatures, 
They lose life. There's two of those. I'm gonna keep those in there for now. Probably won't play them, but you know, whatever. You never know. All right. For blue, we got Cryptic Servant, Even Initiate, Naga Oracle, another Even Initiate, um, Labyrinth Champion, um, Angler Drake. So we got a lot of flying, which is good. And a human creature, Hecma Sentinels. So this is expensive, but it's great to remove something off the board. These can come back in, they're recyclable creatures, so they're pretty neat with the flying. Um, and they make more creatures, zombie creatures. So zombies are good with our deck. So pretty neat. And then we ha have uh, this human cleric that says whenever you cycle, discard a card, it gets plus one plus one. So this is going to be a two mana, um, a two mana one three the whole game pretty much. I don't see it going anywhere else. All right, so let's see what else we got. We got Floodwaters, we got a few Essence Scatters, which is countering creature spells, which is not bad. Uh, return uh, creatures to their hand. Counter, more tar more Essence Scatter. We got uh, put target spell, non land permanent into its owner's library, second from the top. And then you get to make everyone uh, Shuffle their graveyard into their library and uh, draw seven cards. It's pretty neat. This one's draw two cards plus cycling. That does give us the cycling ability. This is draw a card, then discard a card. Uh, activate this ability unless you, if you oh, cast it. Oh, that's another creature. I missed that guy. He's okay. All right, white. We got oh, Catcher the True. Double strike, three six. It's just awesome. All right, um, let's see, we got True Heart Duelist, Visitor of Deferment, Gust Walker. Got a couple Winged Shepherds, which are nice to have flying. Blue White's pretty awesome for flying. Um, we got Unwavering Initiate, and a Red Crop Spearmaster, which give could be a 4-1 first strike, and then you got a mummy that you can untap a target creature when it enters the battlefield. So pretty cool. If we went blue-white route, we also have the Avon Wind Guide that's flying and vigilance, and creatures you control have flying and vigilance, which is pretty awesome for a four drop, actually. All right, for red, we got Amberhorn Minotaur. Couple of desert ceradons, which aren't that great, but you can use them for cycling. Thresher lizard, which can become a 4 4, which isn't bad. Um, we also got Hazaret the Fervent, which is an instructable haste creature, but it can't attack unless you have one or fewer cards in hand. So, eh, it's okay. Flame Blade Adept, whenever you cycle or discard a card, it gets plus one plus zero, so it becomes a 2 2 for one. We got a path initiate, pathmaker initiate, hyena pack, manticore of the gauntlet, which is okay. So our red, I don't really see that being too strong. Uh, let's see, for our green, we have a giant spider with reach, scale behemoth, bitter blade warrior, death touch. We got a or ornery curdu, initiates. Companion, um, Honored Hydra, and we got a bunch of combat tricks here. Hooded Brawler, yeah, so pretty cool. Um, we do have the uh, Black Green Hapatra, right? Which isn't bad, I guess. And we also have the Blue Green, or Sorry, blue green. Black green. Uh, destined to lead. Target creature gets plus one plus zero and gains indestructible in a turn, which is nice. And then we have the aftermath. So all creatures are able to block target creature this turn do so. So, I mean, if you pump up a death touch guy 
and play this, then you could potentially kill off a couple other creatures, which is neat. But I'm not feeling the green and I'm not feeling the red. We also have uh, white spells are cheaper. Non-token creature dies, you gain one life, then you may discard then you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Then you got this brick counter that can make you gain life. Meh. I wouldn't play any of these artifacts. Um, so definitely playing black. I think that's awesome. White is okay. Um, we got one embalm creature here. Um, that's about it. Two embalm creatures, which isn't really enough to go the uh, the the um, zombie. Speaking of zombies, we're gonna go ahead and put this cradle of the accursed in because that's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna start out with zombies. We got uh, in our three slot. We got two cursed minotaurs. Um, this is a horror, not a zombie. So I'm gonna set him aside for now. I mean. When you cycle or discard another card, Horror of Broken Lands gets two, plus two, plus one, and until end of turn. Okay, whatever. But, I mean, it is a 4-4 four, four for five, but you can cycle for one. We kind of want some cycling. All right, this is other zombies you can control get plus one, plus one. All zombies gain menace until end of turn if you, tie, if you pay the mana cost. So, that creature is staying. Uh, when Gravedigger enters the battlefield, you may return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Awesome. This is a human. When he dies, you create a 2 2 black zombie. He's a 2 drop that can create more zombies. Then we got some um, clerics. We're going to put them aside for now, too. And we got this stupid insect. I'm not ever going to play that. And this one gives you these zombies plus one, plus one. So you could potentially have plus two, plus two zombies on the board. Pretty awesome. Um, this one's great because it gives your creature indestructible. I'm definitely going to keep that aside. Uh, final renewal, we're going to put that in our five spots, both copies. And these enchant players, they're okay, but I'm going to put them aside. We might have something better in our blue. So, so for blue, I'm going to play the guys who have Embalm first. All right, so this Labyrinth Guardian has Embalm. He goes in. Avon Initiates, they have Embalm. They will go in. All right. Um, it looks like we only have, so that only puts us at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 creatures. We want more creatures in our deck. Um, this is a cycle or discard. This is, you know, crap. I think, uh, Early game, we're able to get more zombies out there. Um, I'm gonna put some bombs in. I think this Angler Drake, it's a flyer. It's going in. Um, this one says, you may enter the, when it enters the battlefield, you look at the top three cards of your library, put any number of them into your graveyard, and the rest back on top of your library in any order. And it's just a two four. It's nothing special. I'm gonna put that aside. This guy, for each instant sorcery card in your graveyard, it costs one less. So it's a 6-5. It's pretty cool. I'm going to keep it. All right. So now um, what I'd like to do, we have that instant sorcery thing going on there, right? Right now we're sitting at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 creatures. Um, if we wanted to take a look at our other creatures that we didn't play, that we set aside, I think that uh, this one has cycling and it allow, when it cycles it gives the thing. It's it's a 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to put a 4-4 four, four in. These guys are 4-2s. I'm going to keep them inside in case I don't have anything else, but it's not that it's not going to help us out really because it's got too toughness. Someone's going to fry it and then it's over. All right, we got supernatural stamina. This is definitely going in a one drop slot. Um, we kind of want to slow down the early game and sometimes the late game if they got some big bombs. So I'm actually going to probably play at least two of these Essence Scatters in our two drop. 
Um, we got a return creature here for another two drop, which is awesome. Uh, which puts us at three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. Um, this commit to uh, memory, I think it's great. I really like it. It's an instant. So does this, I'm, I have a question. This is, this is a sorcery and it's in your graveyard. Does that take two away from Cryptic Servant? Because if so, that's going in the four drop spot. That's amazing. Um, returning up to two target creatures to their owner's hands could be great uh, late game to get you in there for the kill. And leaves us with a hieroglyphic. We're going to draw two cards for four mana. I'll take it. Um, so we can either add in another creature. You know, because we're at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Um, 